Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to look at the Roman Festival Saturnalia for your GCSE and Classical Civilization. I'd like to give you this video over the website that's set of questions, set of flashcards to really help you revise. Festivals in Ancient Greece and Rome Although the Greeks and Romans divided their year into 12 months, they did not organise their weeks into seven days nor did they recognise the concept of a weekend. Instead, they incorporated rest days into their months by observing numerous holidays, during which they attended games and participated in religious festivals. These festivals varied in duration, with some lasting only a day, while others spanned several days. In classical Athens, approximately 140 days of the year were dedicated to religious observances, festivals and entertainment, while in Rome, around 159 days were allocated to such festivities. Saturnalia The Saturnalia festival in ancient Rome originated as a celebration aligned with the winter solstice, taking place annually from December 17th to December 23rd, marking the end of winter sowing. Reverence was bestowed upon Saturn, the god associated with sowing and the seed. This festival aimed to revive their belief in a golden age, hearkening back to a time when humans and gods coexisted in prosperity as equals. Saturnalia was unique in its inclusivity, as people from all social strata actively participated, symbolising the societal equality envisioned during the mythical golden age. This festive period became a time of merriment, gift-giving and revelry, reflecting the desire for unity and shared joy among the diverse members of Roman society. Officials During the Saturnalia festival, the Temple of Saturn in the Roman Forum was dedicated and its priests played a central role in overseeing the religious ceremonies. These priests, often chosen for one-year terms, held a prestigious position with leading Romans aspiring to lead the sacrifices during Saturnalia. The Senate was tasked with organising the public feast, funded by state resources. The Saturnalia's princeps, a mock king, was appointed for the festival, held authority to issue commands, guide activities and playfully impose rules, symbolising the temporary inversion of social norms during this festive period. This individual, often a slave or lower-ranking member of the household, was appointed to oversee the festivities and maintain a sense of order amid the revelry. Participants Saturnalia was a festival open to all Roman citizens. It was a time of general goodwill and social bonding, transcending class and status. One of the unique aspects of Saturnalia was the temporary equality between slaves and masters. Masters often served their slaves during meals, and there was an atmosphere of camaraderie and mutual enjoyment. Events Sacrifice During the Saturnalia festival in ancient Rome, the sacrificial rituals were an integral part of the celebrations dedicated to Saturn, the god of agriculture. The priests involved in these rituals played a crucial role. As part of the ceremony, the priests would remove their veils, symbolising the lifting of barriers and revealing hidden truths. This act of unveiling is metaphorically linked to the mythology connecting Saturn with Cronus. In Greek mythology, Cronus, the father of the gods, was often depicted as veiling his actions, including the swallowing of his children to prevent them from usurping his power. The removal of the veil during the Saturnalia can be seen as a symbolic gesture representing the temporary suspension of societal norms, embracing openness and fostering a sense of equality and unity during this festive and joyous occasion. The act of unveiling reinforces the connection between Saturn and Cronus, echoing themes of revelation and renewal in the context of the festival. Events Gift giving. Gift giving during the festival of Saturnalia in ancient Rome was a central and cherished tradition. 
Participants exchange presents as a symbol of goodwill, generosity and mutual respect. These gifts varied widely and could include anything from simple tokens to more elaborate offerings. The act of giving and receiving gifts during Saturnalia reflected the festive spirit of the season, fostering a sense of unity and camaraderie among the people. The tradition also played into the festival's broader theme of social reversal, where customary rules were temporarily suspended and expressions of kindness and benevolence took precedence. The exchange of gifts during Saturnalia not only brought joy to individuals, but also reinforced the spirit of community and shared celebration that defined this unique and beloved Roman festival. Events Public and private feasting. The Saturnalia festival in ancient Rome was marked by a duality of celebrations combining both public and private feasts. Public feasts, organised by the Roman Senate, were grand events financed by state funds. The traditional rules and norms of Roman society were temporarily set aside, allowing for a reversal of roles and the expression of genuine camaraderie from slave to master. This combination of public and private feasts during the Saturnalia contributed to the festival's unique character, blending collective revelry with personal expressions of goodwill and merriment. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches. <laughs>